Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Path of Least Resistance, learning to become the creative force in your own life. You may have had this experience, you're increasingly stressed by many problems with your career, family, and health, until one day you wanted to change the status quo. You commit to developing a plan and buy many books. But it doesn't last long and your life returns to the same situation and repeating old patterns. In the end you complain that you have no willpower and that you're just not suited for it. Perhaps you've also wondered is it due of your weak willpower and personality or is it just bad luck? But that is not the case. The book tells you that it's not a lack of drive that leads to failing to make progress, but the odd structure of your life. There is an invisible force in the structure that pulls you unwillingly. Your life is like a river and it takes the path of least resistance. Water will always flow along a riverbed if it remains unchanged because this is the most natural thing. So as long as the base structure of your life remains unchanged, you will most likely follow the same path that you always had no matter how hard you struggle. So if you really want to change your life, then you need to escape this odd structure, use creativity to build a structure that helps to change the status quo and have a breakthrough. When in the new structure, constantly practice creativity to replace the useless constant problem-solving mindset of the past. Create a new path of least resistance so that you can develop what you really want and fulfill your vision. The ideas brought up in this book are unique and interesting. It has been a global bestseller for more than 30 years since publishing in 1984. It has inspired and influenced the creative journey of many people and is a proven guide to enhancing creativity. Robert Fritz is a renowned expert of creativity research in the United States who also founded the Creative Process Program. Many elites have attended the program and were inspired to embark on their own creative adventures. He also founded both Technologies for Creating and Robert Fritz Incorporated. More interestingly, he is an award-winning musician and composer. It was during the composing process where Fritz discovered the mystery of creation. He then started conduct research, set up companies, developed learning programs and published several books. Next, let's read the book in three parts. Part 1, The Underlying Structure of Life. Part 2, How Structure Determines Your Actions. Part 3, Utilizing the Creative Cycle. The basis of today's book is that there's an underlying structure in life. The book states you are like a river, you go through life taking the path of least resistance. This seems a little hard to understand at first. How can life be like a river? Rivers naturally follow the path of least resistance by moving along the riverbed and separating at obstacles. The same applies to the entire natural world. Everything follows the path of least resistance and moves forward in the easiest direction. Pedestrians walking straight on a busy street and avoiding each other, electric currents in equipment and energy transmitting are all examples of taking the path of least resistance. Fritz points out, no matter where you are in your life right now, you have moved along the path of least resistance. Many choices and arrangements in life were the most natural result at the time. They were just as logical as a river flowing along the path of least resistance. Even the dumbest decisions that seem foolish afterwards were considered to be the best option at the time. Because of the circumstances at that time and their perception, a person could only make that choice by following their way of least resistance. So why is this happening? Because life has an underlying structure. This brings us to discuss how the path of least resistance is determined by an underlying structure. Everything has a structure. Some structures are physical, such as bridges and tunnels. Other structures can be abstract and internal, such as the plot of a story, the beat of music, or the movements of symphonies. A river's direction and speed are determined by its riverbed and course, which are its structure. A complex terrain means a river's path of least resistance will be complex. This shows the power of the structure. If there is a path on the hillside that everyone walks along, 